we test active range of motion to see if the patient has stiffness due to joint pathology or muscle spasm, or if the pain, patient has a painful arc of movement. We need to assess range of motion in four directions, forward flexion, abduction, external rotation, and internal rotation, and they are done as follows. You ask the patient to move both arms at the same time so that they can't tilt or hitch to adapt for a loss of range of motion. And while doing these examinations, you need to look at the scapulae to see if there's early scapular initiation. Firstly, I'm going to assess forward flexion by asking the patient, can you bring both arms forward all the way up and back down? And we assess their rhythm as they do this. We then test abduction. Can you bring your arms out to the side, all the way up and back down? External rotation. Can you tuck your elbows at the side, keep the elbows close to the body and turn the arms out? And here we're looking at a difference between one side and the other. And finally, internal rotation. Can you show me with your thumbs how far you can reach up behind your back? And we assess internal rotation at various levels. The buttock, the lower lumbar spine, upper lumbar spine, tips of the scapula or mid-scapula. If there is a difference between active range of motion in one arm compared to the other, then we go on to assess passive range of motion.